In this video, I'm going to be showing you the reverse plank on elbows. To start off, you'll get onto your elbows. You're going to want to turn your thumbs up to point up towards the sky or the ceiling. And you're going to want to make sure that your elbow is kind of right directly beneath your shoulder. You're going to want to also place your feet about five, maybe six inches apart and slightly pigeon toe your feet so that the outer edges of your feet are pointed straight up and down. You wanna also make sure that you're on your heels with your knees straight versus being like this with the knees bent. So we've got our knees straight and we're on our heels. Now from here, you're gonna to wanna to look up, lift up, squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back. This is so hard, I just drew a blank. I couldn't even think of what else to tell you. Basically, we're lifting. Oh yeah, I remember what I wanted to say. Keeping the thigh muscles tight, and then also making sure that those feet do not turn out, okay? So we're gonna actively work. You're gonna wanna actively work at keeping your feet pointed straight up and down, keeping the knees straight, thigh muscles tight, lifting the hips, and those are all the keys to that exercise. So you might find initially that it is extremely difficult to lift, to even get your hips up off of the ground. That was how I felt the first time that I did this exercise. I was shocked after doing planks and bridges for years and years and years. And then I tried this and I literally could barely hold my hips up for maybe a few seconds. So maybe you're gonna find the same. I encourage you to, to try lifting up and holding it up for maybe a few seconds, coming back down, getting back into it, and basically working up to it and building to it. What I encourage you not to do is with the incorrect form. You'll find that you can hold this for a lot longer with the feet turned out, with the knees bent, but we don't want that. You do wanna make sure that you keep the feet in that slightly pigeon-toed position, knees straight and lift. That's where you're gonna get the magic gluteal activation, hip activation, um, just incredible total body strength benefit to this exercise. So that's the reverse plank on elbows. I hope this was beneficial for you. If you did get value out, out of this, I would really appreciate it if you would click the like button. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you again soon.